Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great spring day. Hopefully the weather starts to turn for us a little bit. Here is the latest reading, The Three Little Gators. Hope you enjoy the book. Once, there, once three little gators lived with their mama in an East Texas swamp. One day mama said, it's time you young'uns set out on your own. Make sure you build your houses strong enough to keep you safe from big bottomed boar. Tasty tender gators are his favorite snack. So the three little gators set off. Soon they came upon some rocks. Aha, said first gator. A house of rocks would be safe from big bottomed boar. Bad choice, said second gator. Rocks are heavy and too much work. Way too much work, said the third gator. Heavy or not, I'll build my house with rocks. First gator began rolling rocks into a pile. His brothers waved goodbye and walked on until, plunk, a stick landed on second gator's head. He looked up in the, he looked up in the tree above him. Hawk was building a nest. Aha, I'll build a stick house. That will be easier. Bad choice, said third gator. It's still too much work. Third gator waved goodbye and walked on until slosh. Third gator came to a river. He stopped to rest on the soft, damp sand along the riverbank. Aha, a house of sand would be the easiest one to build, he said. He pushed the sand into a big pile and dug a tunnel. Then he made a door from branches. Ha! Third gator laughed. Big bottom boar won't even know this is a house. And with that, he crawled in and fell asleep. After a while, third gator was awakened by a loud noise. Snurf, snurf, snort, snort. Little gator, let me in. I smell tender gator skin. Third gator trembled inside his house, but he called back, Go away, big bottomed boar. I'll never open up my door. Then I'll wiggle my rump with a bump, bump, bump and smash your house. Big bottomed boar wiggled his bottom and bumped it against third gator's house. Sand flew everywhere. Third gator ran faster than a fox after a muskrat. He scrambled through the brambles to second gator's house. But it wasn't long before the two little gators heard a loud noise. Snurf, snurf, snort, snort. Little gators, let me in. I smell two tender gator skins. Chasing you has made me thinner. I need two little gators for my dinner. The two little gators shivered at the sound of Big Bottom Boar's raspy voice, but they answered, Go away, Big Bottom Boar. We'll never open the door. Then I'll wiggle my rump with a bump, bump, bump and smash your house, answered Big Bottom Boar. He wiggled his bottom and bumpity bumped it against the second gator's house. Sticks flew everywhere. Second gator and third gator raced faster than snakes after a bullfrog. They rushed through the brush to first gator's house. But it wasn't long before the three little gators heard a loud noise. Snurf, snurf, snort, snort. Little gators, let me in. I smell three tender gator skins. Chasing you has made me thinner. I need three little gators for my dinner. The three gators shook at the sound of Big Bottom Boar. It's a terrible voice, but they called back, We'll never open the door. Go away, Big Bottom Boar. Then I'll wiggle my rump with a bump, 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 and smash your house, answered Big Bottom Boar. He wiggled and bumped and waggled and thumped, but he could not smash First Gator's house. I'll, I'll get you yet, Big Bottom Boar snorted. He climbed on the roof and squeezed into the chimney. He grunted and wheezed and snorted and sneezed as he inched his way down. But the three little gators were ready for him. Bad choice, they called. When Big Bottom Boar finally dropped out of the chimney, he landed right on the hot grate of First Gator's barbecue grill. Grill stripes burned into his big bottom, and big bottom boar raced out of the house faster than a thunderbolt. Then second gator and third gator went outside and began piling up rocks. 
Good choice, said First Gator, and he helped them build strong houses. And Big Bottom Boar never bumped his big striped rump their way again. The end.